What is going on tonight? So many people asked me to make my meatless meatloaf. I know, that sounds weird, but it is a meatless meatloaf. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to make this. I think it's fairly easy. I love food though, I told you this. I already love food. Nice to see you again. For my meatless meatloaf, what I personally like to do is I like to get the oven nice and hot. That's one of the first steps I think in cooking, but I don't really know. <laughs> I like to go to like 350, 360 sometimes on it, depending on how, and I'll teach you how to look for the right consistency on that. So for my meatless meatloaf, my family's been eating pescatarian for a long time, so we really enjoy these products, and this has been the product we stood by. It kind of looks like this. I use one of these patties with a full bag of this. And they also make them like seasoned, so I mean, it's your meatloaf mix and match, but this is what works for me. But the one patty out of the bag with the bag of meat. I don't know how that works, but I've done this many times and it just works well for me. Now, I told you before, I don't measure. Math is not my strong point. So you're gonna have your meatless meat. And my power's gonna go out. That's awesome. We never have storms in this town, but tonight it was like a hurricane for us. <laughs> it's usually just super hot. All right. With that bag of meatless meat and that veggie patty, I like my consistency kind of like this. But you're gonna work with that too as well. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that in a big bowl. And then you know it's meatloaf. And if you've ever had regular meatloaf, you know that you need an egg. So I usually try to beat that egg before I put it into my meatloaf mixture. So we dump that right in there like so. I know egg doesn't look that yummy like that. But I love eggs. Mm. I like a little garlic salt in there. I mean, any brand of garlic salt will do. Like I said, it's your meatless meatloaf. Then I also use like a steak seasoning because I feel like that's gonna give it that meaty flavor because a lot of people always complain about these products like, oh my God, they taste so weird. Oh my God, I don't, they don't have any seasoning. Well, you gotta add some seasoning. And I love to add seasoning. I also used a steak sauce and I just kind of do it like that. And then like that funny name, that's hard to say, the Worcestershire sauce. I do a little bit of that. Now, I don't put any salt in here because there's already salt in these products. When you make meatloaf, everybody knows you have to have a little ketchup. Yummy! And whatever brand you wanna get, I have a certain brand I use. That's just how I get down. A nice seasoning, that's just kind of an all-purpose seasoning. And then an Italian seasoning for me I don't know why I feel like meatloaf is Italian. I don't know if it is or not, especially meatless meatloaf. I use butter. Gotta have some butter in there. Not too much or you're gonna get a soggy mess. A little olive oil, some will, any kind will do. Then I put a little barbecue sauce in there as well, only because just that little bit is like a familiar flavor to people and they like that flavor. When they think of meat, a lot of people think barbecue. So if you're trying to give up meat and you're going meatless, to me, this helps fulfill the craving, I think. And then also you're gonna need some breadcrumbs. We don't have any dang stale bread at my house, but I go ahead and I buy this product it's already got the seasoning to there as well. So you're gonna add even more punch to your meatless meatloaf. 
I'm gonna go ahead and dump that right on in. I use the whole dang bag because I haven't before and it was horrible. <laughs> so I know by trial and error. And then later on, we're gonna keep some of that butter and we got some brown sugar because we're gonna make a sauce for the meatloaf, which is not calorie friendly, but who gives a damn? It's good. Thanks for hanging out with Glenn. We still have some crazy weather in Lake Havasu, but meatless meatloaf, Glenn's meatless meatloaf. So you've dumped everything into the glass bowl or whatever bowl you choose. Should look like this. Does that look yummy? Trust me, it's gonna be yummy. If you think it looks a little dry, like you think maybe, oh my God, it's so dry. Just a little more olive oil in there. Should get you rocking. And you're gonna wanna stir that really good and kind of mash that all up in there. That's like the hard part. And I know there's like the workout people that are like, I got this dog, I can do it. But it smells absolutely good. And of course, you know, we don't have smell addition, but it smells absolutely really good. I'm telling you, wait till you taste it. And we'll talk about that later. Once your consistency kind of looks like that, pick whatever pan you're gonna put it in. Whatever you wanna do. Some people have the traditional meatloaf pan. Some people will use a round like pie pan, whatever that's about. But it's for my girls. So we're gonna use a heart shape for our meatloaf tonight. And you know I'm gonna tell you, pan it up but there's gonna be a lot of meatloaf so i'll make little extra small individual dishes because my wife can take one to work it can save me another night because i will freeze this and i will reserve it bear with me i'm working with a new retainer so i know i sound crazy I'm like what am i talking about i have a new retainer in my mouth nobody can understand me anyway Anyways, back to the meatless meatloaf. We're gonna get down to it now. Once you've got those in your pan of choice or your dish of choice, I put a little butter on top because it's gonna give it like a nice golden brown texture on top. And then back to that Italian seasoning, a little bit of that on top as well. Here's that cookie sheet. I don't know the damn dimensions of the cookie sheet. Put some aluminum foil on there so cleanup is easier. And since you're gonna have a sauce, you're gonna wanna put these on the cookie sheet or whatever dish you choose. Don't pan the cookie sheet. Kinda looks like Mickey Mouse, huh? Probably can't say that. Mickey. Awesome. It's almost time to pop this in the oven. But before we do that, just pray it's gonna turn out good. I know it will. Now, I started my meat, this meatloaf at 360 because I don't wanna burn it. And then we're also gonna put some sauce on top of that as well. And then towards the end, I kind of crank it up because I like the sauce to kind of caramelize over that meatless meatloaf. Which sounds so fun saying, but so weird saying, but it's so good. And like I said, I'm weird. This sauce is my brown sugar Glen sauce. Out of control good. So this is what I do. I like to set the oven on. I prefer growing on gas, but I'm too lazy to get my gas burners out and I don't have it inside. So that's how it is. <laughs> All right. You're definitely gonna wanna get a sauce pan out for sauce. It's like memory mat, sauce, sauce pan, we can do it. You're gonna do a medium heat because this meatloaf is gonna take like an hour, hour and a half sometimes, 
you'll be able to check it and be able to see what's going down. So you got time for this sauce. You kind of kind of let this sauce simmer at the end too as well. So like I told you, I do not count calories. I'm not big on that. When your time is up, your time is up. So we're gonna go ahead and add brown sugar. That's a whole bag of brown sugar. I don't know how much that really measures out to. Dump it in the pan. Don't be scared. Cause I was like that. I was like, oh my God, I don't know. I have a brown sugar in there. Oh my God, it's gonna burn. What's gonna happen to it? But then we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of butter. And that is a little butter for me. I like butter. Some people wanna give it up, but I love butter. All right, we're gonna go back to that steak sauce. We're gonna put that in this mixture too as well. Because even though it's brown sugar, it's more of a savory sweet, so it goes with meatloaf. Back to that ketchup, there goes that ketchup. Ugh, all up in there, all up in the mix. And by now, things are gonna to start to melt down. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start stirring that in there. Really good. As you can see, I'm a horrible stirrer. So like I said, we're just getting used to this, my friends. Thank you for hanging out with me. I absolutely love it. But we're still not done with the sauce. You're gonna to wanna to add black pepper. Once again, that Italian seasoning. That Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of seasoning salt of your choice. And olive oil. And the reason I put salt into the sauce is because there's already sugar in there. So it's kind of like this really good sauce. Stir it in. Now this is the tough part. Don't panic. Let this sauce simmer and cook down, but keep stirring it every once in a while, but you cannot panic. You've got to let the sauce kind of caramelize up because I find myself like, oh no, what am I going to do? The sauce is And then it turns out right in the end because I know what to do. So don't panic. It does take a minute. They say you can't rush perfection or close to perfection. I recommend making a lot of sauce because I'm gonna show you another recipe with leftover sauce where, yep, like I said, some people like balls. You can make little meatballs with this sauce. Absolutely out of control good. And they're meatless meatballs. Yes, meatless meatballs. It's one of the easiest recipes I know for people who don't eat meat. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally figured this out. It's so good. All right, let's pull that meatless meatloaf out of the oven. Your sauce should be looking really good like this. And it's still got a ways to go, but we want to put some on top. I'm excited about that. Ooh, that sauce is getting it, boo. So let's pull out this meatless meatloaf and take a look. Already, we've got some colorization going on. All right, by now, your sauce should be absolutely gorgeous. It should look something like that. This is your meatless meatloaf. I know, meatless meatloaf, sounds crazy. We're gonna scoop out this sauce and dump it right on top. See how I'm already screwing up? But at least it's not in the oven. Oh, Sauce is just absolutely awesome. It definitely makes this dish become a meatier meatless dish. My wife suggested I should start doing this. So here I am, making it happen. Hit 
Hit my like button. Hit my like button. All right. We're going to still keep an eye on this sauce, but we still want it to be on a nice low, low, low. And I'm going to put the rest of that ketchup in there and maybe a little bit more butter and cook it down. And we're going to go ahead and put our meatless meatloaf back into the oven. I would say once you have the sauce on there, possibly an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But before the sauce, I say 30 minutes for me because I do like it to kind of get a little golden brown on top of that butter. And then I think it holds the sauce better and it doesn't become like a soggy dish because nobody wants soggy meatless meatloaf. I can't even tell you how bad that looks, how bad that looks. All right, putting that back in the oven. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're pulling that meatless meatloaf out. This is what your meatless meatloaf should look like. After you've baked it with the sauce on there, it's caramelized on top. It's excellent. We're gonna get ready to plate this up. We're gonna get ready to serve this. Yummy. Now, honestly, after I make my meatless meatloaf, I kind of like to let it sit for a day in the fridge to really soak in those flavors so that you're gonna enjoy them. So are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Because you probably are like, how is it gonna do meatless meatloaf? Here it is. Look at that. You can see all the little layers that you did and you would be so proud of yourself because you did it, but that's not it. I like to sauce it up. So you made your sauce, so it should kind of thicken up and look like this. And it's Glenn's Brown Sugar Baby Sauce. This is really good sauce. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I put this sauce on a lot of things besides meatloaf. And let's go ahead and put it on the meatless meatloaf. Here we go. Look at that. That would go good with some mashed potatoes, a little corn. There you have it, your meatless meatloaf with your sauce on there looking so good, so yummy. I mean, this is gonna be a crowd pleaser, a family pleaser. A lot of people love this that I've made it for. You didn't think it could be done, but next, one of these times, we're gonna do some meatless meatballs. We're gonna be really excited about meatless meatballs. We're gonna use that sauce. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. Enjoy your meatless meatloaf.